It should uh, be on now. Live yeah, again. we are. I'm yeah. showing on one computer that we're live. Yep. I it so says I haven't Oh, and I got notification on my phone. Okay. And computer number 2 shows that we're live. So Okay. So we're trying we again, again and we we'll trying. see. Yep. And, and can people hear me? Can people hear Gretchen? I Who don't knows? know. Oh, yeah, I think they can cuz I am seeing um the captions. The, the captions for me. Okay, good. So that should be a good sign. That should be a good okay. sign. And uh, but we we don't have anybody on with us now because they all went to go have lunch or something. They which figured that. I can't blame them. Yep. Well, now now I show one on there, but it's probably me. Or me. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna. They're up to two, so that's good news. Okay. Well, good. Okay. So we're gonna um, we're gonna give it a shot. And, uh, Great. And, and hopefully it will be just right. I hope so. so. And I'm okay. hoping people can hear me. Ah, Fred and Fred is watching and Nancy Long. Oh, we've got four. Okay. So. And Chris says, yes, sound. Sound. Nancy okay. Long. Yes, ma'am. I think okay. it was, was probably just feedback. signing off and signing on on a new link is probably what we, right. what we did okay. that, that worked. Right. So, so here we are. Now we will start all over with Noonday Prayers on page 103 for people. So, O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. And we are going to be reading Psalm 111, found on page 754. Hallelujah. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. In the assembly of the upright in the congregation. Great are the deeds of the Lord. They are studied by all who delight in them. His work is full of majesty and splendor. And his righteousness endures forever. He makes his marvelous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gives food to those who fear him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works. In giving them the lands of the nations. The works of his hands are faithfulness and justice. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever. Because they are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption to his people. He commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Those who act accordingly have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Today I'm going to be reading from Proverbs chapter 9, starting at verse 1. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her animals. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servant girls. She calls from the highest places in the town. You that are simple, turn in here. To those without sense, she says, come. Eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Lay aside immaturity and live and walk in the way of insight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is uh, one of those passages in scripture which is uh, trying to help us learn how to live. Um, Lady Wisdom calls to all those who go along the street. Um, it's always um, uh, a note to me to be uh, recognizing that wisdom in uh, this proverb especially is portrayed as a feminine. Uh, a feminine, a fem yeah, yes. she always is. And in artwork, she's always portrayed as a female. Yeah, yeah. Why, would, why would wisdom be feminine? Well, are we really going to get into that? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're not. better off. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll skip that discussion. Um, but it is, uh, it is always the case that uh, it is portrayed from a feminine, feminine 
perspective. Um, yes. and, um, and, and that in itself says something important to us. Uh, uh, you know, we, we know one of the characteristics of, uh, of people are uh, too often uh, males just rush in and try to do something. And, uh, and maybe the female is willing to take stock of what's going on. Maybe that's part of this. I'm not sure. Maybe she's just standing back and watching. <laughs> watching while the fool <laughs> rushes in. I think that, <laughs> that's another saying. In. That's right. That's now, another we, saying. We probably shouldn't be so generalized about no, all this because no, that's probably no. not fair to males to either, nor females. That's but. right. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but, but the, the purpose of this proverb is to, and the whole book of, of Proverbs is uh, to help us grow in wisdom. That's, uh, that's all the advice they give us is how to live a good life. And, um, and, and it has this idea that, um, that as we go out on the street, we, we just don't know who it is that we can pay attention to, who it is that, um, that will help us um, uh, live faithfully and live well. Um, right. and, and the Lady Wisdom, uh, which um, may be the sign of the Holy Spirit in action, um, is that which God sends to us and calls us from the street to come on in, right? Um, there's, uh, there's this house that is built, which is a place for feeding, for hospitality, um, and for, uh, for maybe teaching some of the things about uh, how we should live, um, for sure. Um, right, in my mind's eye, talking about this, I'm, I'm picturing like an Italian grandmother upstairs on her balcony calling uh, out to people, yeah. you know, come get this bread, put aside your immaturity, here's wine for you, mm -hmm. you know, go to the light, live, live right. your life and live right. it well. Yeah. Um, but, you, but you need your food. You need and some you food. Need some wine with this. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And, and I think one of the images there is of hospitality to come in and surround the table um, yes. which, which tells me also one of the points of wisdom is, uh, is the sharing with others in community. Uh, to be wise is not an individual thing. To be right. wise is to, as you say, heed the voice of your grandmother who calls from the, from the balcony right. and says, come on in, come on in. Right. Um, sit right. down, have a meal. And... You know, at least in, in my home uh, growing up, I remember uh, when the family gathered at our grandmother's house, um, there was a lot of wisdom being shared around, or, or maybe not always wisdom, but there, that was a place of storytelling. Right, storytelling and, uh, in a way, counsel. Mm -hmm. You know, whether, whether you're going into it expecting that or not, it's still counsel when you're telling the stories and sharing those things about what's gone on and thinking through all these different permeations of life. Yeah, yeah. And, and I do think uh, there's something that's saying about taking yourself out of the rat race, out of the, the, the parade yes. that goes down the street. Um, and being able to step inside this house mm -hmm. of hospitality and right. take some time. And if you can take some time, there's the chance that you will hear that wise counsel. You'll hear the, right. the shaping. And, and, and around my grandmother's house, in the, around the table, there really was always that um, sharing of stories. The family stories, they got told at the dinner table. Um, yes. And, yes. and that's part of this whole idea. Uh, all through Scripture, um, especially the Old Testament, it's a telling of the stories of the people of Israel. And therefore, the sharing of what our life is all, ab all about with God um, that are understood and passed down from generation to generation. Right. And in that same way, around our family dinner table... Um, when we can take the time and pay attention, it's a way for not simply 
advice to be passed on, but really uh, a sense of identity, what has shaped us, what are the stories right. that, that make us, and in my case it would be, you know, what, what is it that makes us Randalls? Um, we right. sat and shared stories, and we heard the stories that we never heard in our own, uh, in our own house, but around Grandma's house, uh, we hear them. You, you learn about your uncles and, and your aunts and, and all the right. people and the cousins that you had that you maybe never met, right? right. Um, and I do think that we're telling yeah. those we're telling those um, when we're around the dinner, dinner table, we're all together. You know, it doesn't there's not that age difference. It's the grandparents sharing it and the parents are hearing it if they're there, but the children are hearing it, whatever age the children are. So I think in that way, they are also the children are kind of moving beyond the immaturity. Because because they're hearing these stories that are adult stories, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't realize that. Uh, when, sometimes when you grow into the stories, you catch more, right? A, a, and the nuances of them, but the children wouldn't catch them. But they are moving beyond that immaturity just by s hearing those stories and being part of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the um, the old story that, um, or the old saying about uh, about common sense, right? Uh, sometimes common sense doesn't sound sensible, and it's right. far. It's definitely not very common. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> right. Um, and in our household, we tend to call it more SA, situational awareness, uh, about what's going on. Right, what's going yeah. on in the world. Yeah. And, um, and, and you will pass along those stories. And that's what wisdom is all about. It's not about accumulating information, um, not about right. trying to know as much knowledge. There's too much knowledge right. these days for us to to ever yeah. put in our Unspecified head. Specified knowledge normally. Yeah. Right. And and instead what we want is somebody who has wisdom more important than knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because wisdom is what makes it possible to use the knowledge. Right. And that wisdom comes from the accumulated sense that is passed on from generation to generation. How do we know how we live with God? Um, right. It's, it's not so much technically can I get this accomplished, it's can I know why and what is important about this so I don't waste my time on things that don't really make any difference Right. as well, right? right? That's part of right. wisdom. So hopefully we all hang around with wise people. Um, you know, I can't, can't sit with my grandmother anymore or my parents anymore, but... Um, right but there are still wise people that I do enjoy spending some time with because uh, right. they help keep me on the right track, right? right. No one right. in the world That's is for all of us. really, really important. And, um, you know, one of those wise guys is, is your stepdad, is Dick Ullman. He's a, he's a wise yeah. guy. He, I was uh, thinking of him because he <laughs> always tells stories at dinner. Right. But even though he's my stepfather, those, mm -hmm. are, those are now my stories as right. well as my own birth parents. You yeah. know, but he's been in my life so long that that is part of my family. And right. those stories yep. are mine now too. Right. Yeah, and you, so and it's, you it's know, interesting. Yeah, and you know when, you're, when your sons are around Dick, they will get that accumulated wisdom yep. through storytelling, right? Yes. Which is part, yep. of what, part of what this proverb is talking to us about. So. Yep. Okay, yep. well, let's move on with the prayers then. And, um, yes. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, name. your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Your, your will, will be, done be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Amen. 
Uh, on the Old Donation prayer list, we have a number of names to, uh, to let you know of to keep in your prayers, but also you may add your own silently, aloud, or typing them into Facebook. Um, on our prayer list today, we have Linda Coker, Dot Fremd, Philip Todd, Jim Pernini, Tom Crockett, Seal McCoy, Harriet Woodhouse, Kathy Garrett, Ann Annis, Dick Krusick, Charlie Swift, Barbara Caffrey, Holly Payne, Dave Jacques, Tony Succi, Peter Hogg, John Causey, Bobby Gribble, Maggie Clickman, Henry Vexelio, Connie Cosgrove, Steve Russell, Denise DeConti, Rick Williamson, Linda Lasta, J. Ann Hudson, Alexandra Carter, Jennifer Lee, Bill and Ben Gentry, Edith Watakar, Chris Jones, Rose Paludin, Claudia Rawlings, Rob Mathias, Denny Coors, Larry Dullahan, Kelly Barnett, Bill Oakley, Alex Sass, Elda Garcia, Dan Harmon, Joe O'Connor, and Amelia Corey. And we also lift up uh, the life of Elizabeth Felicetti as we continue to grieve her loss to this world and this particularly to Old Nation where she served uh, so faithfully for a number of years. So, um, And uh, you probably have some celebrations Maybe. We do. Today is August 21st already. So for birthdays, we have John Duncan today. Mm. And tomorrow, on the 22nd, we have Eleanor Irvin. We've got Bab Gabriel Mayorga, Giovanni Mayorga, and Rob McCarty. Oh. So a nice group of people to celebrate for their birthdays. And let me go down here. No anniversaries today, but tomorrow you know who it is, Dottie and Bill Dudley. Uh, yeah, I do know about that because I was them the other night. with them on Sunday night to uh, have right. a renewal of vows for their 60th anniversary. Nice. That's a pretty nice. cool deal. So yeah, 60 that years. That's a big deal. Is a, it was a long a, time. It was a, <laughs> it's a long time. Uh, it was really fun. Uh, both Dottie and Bill recognized it was a long time, and they gave thanks that they hadn't killed each other yet. So hey, that's that's that, good. That's pretty that's good. That's a worthy thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill and Dottie were really cute and uh, and and fun to be with on that night as they as good. they celebrated. So yeah, and uh, lots of good birthdays with that list of people too. So happy for that. Yes. For, happy for them. Okay. Um, tonight we have a very important meeting again. Uh, the second of our transition meetings, which will happen tonight and Sunday, the same meeting will happen on both. So either come tonight from six to eight, uh, we will have uh, supper, fried chicken and salad. Yeah. You might come just for the chicken, you know, but, um, but six o'clock be here. And the Reverend Canon Mary Thorpe from the diocese will be with us again to walk us through another stage of our information gathering as we try to try to do this work of describing who we are as a parish today um, so that when we start putting together our profile towards the end of the year, we have really accurate, re accurately reflected who the parish is. Right. So come tonight between 6 and 8, or come Sunday morning about 11.15, 11.30, and, um, and we will do this work. Every voice is important to this, so please yes. come and join yeah. us. Really um, other than that, um, what else is happening that we need to talk about? Um, tomorrow we have, well, Chimes is coming out soon, so all of this will be in Chimes, but tomorrow we have midday munchers at yes. Reginella's yep. at 12.30. Saturday at 10 o'clock, I'm looking over at my mm -hmm. calendar List. if anybody's wondering. Right. At 10 o'clock, we have a stream team training in the Great Hall that will be about right. 90 minutes. If you want to learn how to use Wirecast, which is the platform that we use to to broadcast live on to Sundays do this. or whenever. Yeah. To do Well, this one's a little bit different, but little. along the yep. same lines. Yep. And the cameras. This is not audio work this Saturday. This is only the platform and cameras. Right. Come on Saturday. No need to RSVP. Show up. You might bring a notebook to take notes, um, but that can be a starting for you to be involved in that team of people. The other thing I do want to highlight, other than Bob already talked about the transition meetings, is the parish celebration. You've seen the graphics, they've been everywhere. Saturday, 14th September at four o'clock, we're gonna celebrate 
everything the great hall the altars the the mm -hmm. organs the piano the the banners everything that's been done recently recently in the last four years four years so, had, had. um we're going to celebrate and the bishop is supposed to be with us god willing mm -hmm. she just had surgery so we're hoping she'll be fine but we need you to rsvp for the meals right um it's all being provided, there's no cost, but we need to have a RSVP soon so that we can purchase and plan and get all of that in order. If you already RSVP, don't do it again. That just means <laughs> I'm deleting you off the list and having to go through and double check. Right, so if you've right. done it, you're done. If you haven't done it, it's time. So yep. Saturday the 14th at four o'clock. Okay. That's, that's really helpful. Sunday uh, morning, we'll have uh, our normal schedule, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 5 o'clock. 10 yep. o'clock, we'll be in the Great Hall. And um, other than that, just that's it. keep all your prayers going and um, make your reservation for the celebration. Yes, please. And please come tonight or Sunday, one or the other, okay? Yeah, it's, that's really important for those. Okay, I think that's enough for right now then, and we so. will... Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, be God. to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Yes. See okay. everybody soon. Thanks okay. for waiting for us.